I'm Aubrey, and I've been living on a small sailboat for six years. Recently, I bought a pirate ship, and all she needs is new masts and rigging. So right now, I'm in Florida doing a boat flip to earn enough bucks to put a new rig on her. Click the subscribe button to join me every week. These videos are made possible by Patreon. Thank you so much. Yeah. Hi, sweetie. Let's see if it's okay. <laughs> Hold this. Okay. It's okay, buddy. Oh, man, that looks like it hurts so bad. Um, we have a knife. One you. Look. I would like to trim it and get some. Let's just take him back to the boat and we'll fix him up there. So we've got this little bird with a spear for a face out of this netting, and he's got two hooks caught in his leg. Searle spotted him, which is such a good spot. And um, we've got him now, but we have to try to get this treble hook out of his skin, which is, I wish I had something to put on him to numb him. We're gonna figure that out right now. So I'm gonna cover him with this towel over his face so he stays calm. And then um, I'm gonna use some pliers and I think I need might need a razor blade too, hun. And the hydrogen peroxide from underneath the what do counter. You need a razor blade? Throw that away. tried to release him and he couldn't fly because he's tired so apparently seabirds float so we just went overboard his wound is probably burning so it looks like he's gonna stay on board for he's so cute for a little bit while he regains his strength you can just take a little rest and then you can fly away okay so it's like two hours later after we pour, pulled the poor little hook out of his leg. My mom and I used to rescue birds. She had owls and hawks and all sorts of things that were injured and broken and uh, we were like a little country sanctuary for them. So we did a lot of mending of birds growing up, which is probably why I love birds now to this day. Um, so when I was working on him, it just, I don't know, it just feels natural. Billy Ray, you hang out until you feel better. Is there a stronger word for nostalgia? I don't know, but whatever it is, that's the word for being on this boat. <laughs> now that I have the Formosa, it's incredible. It really is. I I love this boat so much, I, I don't wanna sell it, but I have to. Um, but I can't believe I made a life on this boat for so many years. I really love her and I hope the person that takes her next loves her as much as I do. She's just so cool. And actually being left for six months, she's bone dry inside. She looks really good. Um, I miss her. Such a pretty boat. Um, I'll do a nice video and I'm gonna put her up for sale. Little Miss is a 229 cow made in 1976. Little Miss has such a spacious interior for her size. She has a midship galley. She has 600 watts of solar and eight batteries. There's enough power to make YouTube videos all day long. She has brand new sails from Far East, a beautiful all grip paint job top and bottom, brand new bottom paint, brand new running rigging. Everything's new on Little Miss. I'm gonna miss her so much. Are you hungry? You're looking better. Atlas, how do you feel about this? We are still working on the 37 Hunter Legend. She's in pretty good shape. 
she just needs a few touch-ups. Thank you so much to Total Boat for sending us so many wonderful products. Right now, do? I'm using their bilge coat. Total Boat bilge coat. <laughs> it's working really good. So if you didn't hear that, she said she likes chicken and waffles. We have this awesome outboard. It's an 18 horsepower and she flies on our dinghy. But now she sounds a little bit like a Harley Davidson. The anchor popped a hole in the side of the shaft while she was mounted on the back of the boat. So now we're going to rivet a piece of aluminum over the hole. is going to be left. I don't know, it's like the never stop it. I'm just watching hey flop. Is that Billy Ray? Billy Ray is doing much better. And I've trained him to take food. I'll take credit for that training. My fingers are a little bit cut up. Huh, you got me good. Are you standing? And Cyril just rescued this lizard out of the water. We're gonna return to land soon. Oh, now we've got a friend, Billy Ray. <laughs> Don't eat him. <laughs> oh, I think his wings are still sore. Oh, doing good though. Hello, Billy Ray Cyrus. Are you hungry? You're looking better. Well, it seems that Billy Ray Cyrus has been tamed and he isn't going anywhere. Would you like some fish, Billy Ray Cyrus? That means I could just put a bowl out there. I think something about you handing it to him or showing your hand, because I put one down and he didn't eat it. Hmm? There you have it. Do I have a jealous parrot down there? Are you the most jealous uh -huh. this, this parrot in the boat? I also oh. wants fish. You may not. <laughs> you may not have fish. Get on your perch. Well, he's cold now. You just hanging out and relaxing? Isn't that like the tracker arm? <laughs> I know he's hanging his arm off the side. I won't be surprised if he's not here when we get back. His wings are tight. He's standing on his foot. Get a belly full of fish. I will say he is getting fatter. Would you say, squirrel? <laughs> so I think that Billy Ray Cyrus is going to be leaving us soon. At least I think. <sighs> His wings are flapping. He can spread them wide. That shoulder that was kind of hanging down is all tucked up, and he's putting weight on his foot. So now in the morning, he wakes up and he wants me to feed him. So. I'm hoping that he flies away. He watches his friends fly by. He's not captive. He's just underneath the Dodger and um, enjoying his fish and watching the other birds go by. Atlas is a little jealous, but uh, there he is. If he doesn't leave and we're going back to the Formosa, I think I'll just take him with us. Um, I was talking to a biologist that said that terns have some of the longest migration pattern, so he could technically fly back to Florida if he wanted to. I don't know. These are the thoughts that I have. I'm getting a little bit attached to him, but he's free to go. He's just out there on the boat, hanging out, eating. It's pretty
pretty cute. Not even afraid of the dog. The dog and the turn are just sitting there next to each other. I'm like, okay. <sighs> pretty funny. On your post. Right now, we are babysitting a little cockatiel named Punky, and she is so, so cute. She's whistling right now. So we have three birds and one dog and a squirrel on board. Hey you guys, I love you. Thank you so much for watching. Next time on Sailing Miss Lone Star, we are going to put the rudder in, in the boat. Can you believe it? I know. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe.